So, your workshops. You will go along to your workshop and you'll work with your peers and your tutor to engage with the activities for the week. Now, this week you're learning about the curriculum. So we're going to be using a practical activity, building a tower, to explore the curriculum documents and how we can associate the content descriptors in the curriculum documents with the activity. So we don't do the activity, we don't build a tower for the sake of building a tower. We do the tower activity so that students achieve certain content descriptors. So they learn specific things that are described in the curriculum documents. And ideally, they will also learn some other things, such as the thinking skills or cross-curriculum priorities and so forth. And we'll be exploring how to do that in later weeks. But for now, you need to be able to associate what you've been able to read in the curriculum documents with the activity. So looking at where the content descriptors are describing um, what they're learning through doing the tower building activity. So part of this is to provide evidence of you having done the activity. And there'll be various concepts that you'll learn to make your achievement of the activity better, such as how to glue straws together or how to construct your tower so that it is stable and doesn't fall over when it's shaken or how to make the tower t as tall as possible. And I've provided you with some video clips that will give you some ideas around some of these concepts. Because this is what you teach your students. Concepts and ideas, techniques, ways of thinking about problem solving and thinking about the world. It's not just doing an activity. That's the mechanism we use to achieve these other learnings. So you're going to be teaching them about algorithms, about how to do repetitive series of constructions so that they can make similar things that are all the same that when they're put together make a much stronger solution than if they were just doing it ad hoc or they might be learning about different materials and how the properties of those materials affect the performance of the of what's then constructed that is what they're learning about not about tower building okay so look at the materials in preparation for your workshop and I look forward to seeing the evidence of your tower constructions as part of your log of learning activities. So you need to bring along a device to take a photograph or a video clip and show evidence of having constructed your tower. And then finally, you need to provide evidence, a reflective power graph as your final log of learning activity submission, where you reflect upon what you've learned through your workshop and through the tutorial, or through the other um, activities through the week, and submit that. And I hope you have a lot of fun in your first workshop.